everyone. So today I'm going to be talking with you about um, an another piercing. Um, I've had this, I want to say like two, a year or two now. I can't remember. I have to look up and see when I actually got it. And if I can find when I actually got it, I will tell you right here how many years I've had it. Um, and it's my helix piercing. Now, this has been quite a journey. So, let me get into the whole story before I tell you anything about the piercing itself. So, the first time I got my helix pierced, I actually had a double helix piercing. So, I had one, like, a little above where this one is and one a little bit below where this one is. And it looked so cute. I absolutely loved it. But... I went to this really shady ass place. Um, it's in Derry, New Hampshire. It's called uh, Revelations. Um, and she is just one shady ass piercer. Um, I went in. She used the same needle for both holes. It's a hollow point needle. You're only supposed to use it once. Of course, this was back before I knew anything about piercing. She was also saying that it was stupid that I went to her to get it professionally pierced, that I should have just pierced it myself, yada, yada, yada. And I was just, I was, when she started saying that kind of stuff, I was like, mm, do I really want to be here? Um, but I really wanted to get it done. So, yeah, I stayed like my dumb self would. Um, so not only did she use the same needle for both piercings, she also used really cheap jewelry that you probably got at, like, Walmart or something. So because of that, they did not heal at all, ever. Um, and they were it, very painful. And even the process of piercing the second one, because, like I said, she used the same needle... It was very painful because she it was like shoving something where it wasn't supposed to go because the skin had the skin that she was piercing had nowhere to go because normally it would go inside the needle. Well the needle's already filled with the skin from the first piercing. So yeah. So that was just a process. And after I wanna say like six months of hate of being in constant pain all the time, I took them out. And maybe about another six months later was when I went to a different shop. Um, and it's my favorite piercing place. It's, um, Farley at FTP Unlimited in Derry, New Hampshire. Um, and I got this one done. I only got a single one done this time just because, um, with the woman from Revelations, I was, I was scared. Can you blame me? Can you blame me? Um, I should have known with her though that it was $30 for the piercing and the jewelry. Like, Um, I should have known. So, let me get the price sheet for him out. Yes, I keep the body piercings price sheet for Farley with me. Um, so this is known as the cartilage common piercing. Um, for, hit on his price sheet. It is called a helix piercing. Um, so the cost of actually, of having the active it pierce cost about cost $20 and then it costs probably like another 25 for jewelry and it just kind of looked like that it did not hurt nearly as bad as when I had gotten it pierced at revelations because you know he did it properly um sorry I thought I heard something but I didn't um so it did not hurt nearly as bad I decided to get it pierced right in between where the two original ones were um, just to kind of help hide the scarring a little bit, which is fine. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so the jewelry that he used was actually like the same type of jewelry that he used for Maitreya. So it has a flat back, which actually helped a lot during the healing process. I'm not going to lie because... If you have an earring like this, where it has the backing like this, while it's healing, not only does your ear hurt, but if you fall asleep, then your head hurts too. So I liked having the flat back during healing. Um, I think it was just really helpful. Um, 
And like I said, that was probably about $25. It was just clear and it kind of looked like this, except like I said, it had the flat back. Um, Farley is really awesome. He's very clean. He uses like three or four pairs of gloves when he's piercing you. Not all at once, like at different times. Just to make sure everything's sanitary. Um, he's freaking phenomenal. I love him. Um, trying to think of what else. Um, piercing was probably like 2 out of 10 in on pain. Um, healing was definitely 10 out of 10 when it came to pain just because, you know, you sleep on it. So 10 out of 10 for actual, like, healing pain. Um, but it would have its days where it was just perfectly fine. You didn't even realize. It did take well over a year to heal. I did not change my jewelry until oh, after that year was done. Um, just because I wanted it to heal. Well, that's a lie actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I changed it, I want to say around the eight month mark, because my ear kept getting so swollen that it was like covering the ends of the earring. So what I ended up having to do is I put a hoop in my cartilage so that it could allow for as much swelling as it wanted. Once I put the hoop in, it took maybe like another couple months and then it was completely healed just like that um so that was awesome I would rec I don't like changing out piercings before they're healed but it was just something that needed to be done with my cartilage because hold on my dryer just went up anywho um and after the actual piercing process was over Farley did go through this whole detailed regimen about how to clean it and everything he carries H2 Ocean and the Provon antimicrobial soap in his shop that you can purchase. And I love both of them. Um, and I would recommend both of them. Um, so if you have any more questions, just comment down below and I will answer them for you. Um, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.